They're not letting visitors in yet. Flynn reckons they've got a way to go before they get a stabilised. So, Flynn, did he seem worried to you? Oh, it's pretty much like the rest of us, love. He's hoping and waiting. Oh, Mr Stewart, you're looking very well. Ah, yeah, never better. Uh, I believe you're staying with young Leah. Yeah, for the time being. Oh, you forgot to give me the spare keys. I left them for you on the kitchen bench. Well, uh, I certainly hope that Dad's there to let me and VJ in. Take mine. Uh, I'll be back in a tick. Uh, well, I'd better be going. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I left VJ outside. Outside? In the car. You left my son alone in the car? Yes, yes. I used to leave you and the boys in the car. Or sometimes. Just give me the keys. Give me the keys. Stop fussing. I'm going now. She leaves my son alone in the car and I'm the irresponsible one. Tell me what Nigel meant. You're too much of a Nigel to understand, Nigel. What's your problem? What's your problem? Exactly what skills do you bring to this job? Well, I've done a lot of work with uh, the kids in this age group. So. Noah's worked with some of our students at the drop-in centre as well as with the street kids. Really? Then you should know your stuff. I'd like a list of those children when you've got a minimum, Mr Lawson, just so I can stay on top of things. Uh, sorry, Mr Hyde, you know, I can't do that. Really. There's a privacy issue. Privacy, yes. Well, the problem is, and I'm sure you'll agree, we've been entrusted with the welfare of every child at this school. I think that takes precedence over privacy. Oh, hey! Not that! Stop this instant! Name? Henry Hunter. New here. What's this about? He. I think so. You seem determined to spend time in my office. Um, no, sir. Well, since you two have energy to burn, I suggest you sort it out in the gym. Marquis of Queensbury rules. What? Boxing, Mr. Sutherland. And you can add three nights of detention to the list for good measure. Glad to see you're all thrilled that the holidays are over. Oh. Yeah. You can't sit there. I mean it. Try and stop me. Come on, boys. We don't want to repeat. Miss, he's sitting in Eloise's seat. Everyone, for those of you new to the class, we had a, a student called Eloise Lennox that we lost to cancer last year. Oh, Miss, would we be able to have like a minute silence, like they do on Anzac Day? Yeah, that, that's a nice idea, Max. If if everyone wants to stand up. Everything all right in here, Miss Fletcher? You have to be quiet. Excuse me? Yeah, are we just having a minute silence, Mr. Hyde? If that's the way you wish to run your class, who am I to comment? But the rudeness is another matter. But she was my friend. Thanks to you, Mr. Sutherland, this class will be detained after school, where you'll observe one full hour of silence. Flynn said we can see Hallie tonight if she's okay. That's a good sign, Dan. I mean, she's going to make it. Hey. Hey, son. How was your first day back? Oh, I should have stayed in bed. You haven't seen Robbie, have you? He didn't turn up to school this morning. He left in his uniform. No, I haven't seen Tasha either. I don't want to worry Irene, so if you see either of them, let them know I'm looking for them. Yeah, don't worry, I'll track them down. Thanks. You'd think this stupid place could make a sandwich, but this is like so gross. Hanging with all your friends, Nigel. Well, Matt. How are you, man? Yeah, good. Sucks being back though, right? Yeah, kind of. How's the city? Oh, the city's cool. I was missing the beach so bad. Any friends of yours? Um, I don't know. They're cousins, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just Joshua, man. Hey, we'll see you around, Max. Yeah, see you. How do you know those guys? Morrison's dad stayed at the caravan pub for a while. Why don't your brother call me Nigel? Oh, it was this dumb name at his old school. It means you're like really stupid or something. Not that, you know, I think you're stupid. Yeah, you do. Just because you think my friend's cool doesn't mean you can suck up to him, Tilda. 
First she said I let her and my bad down and then she leaves me Jay alone in the car. And she won't even let me into my own kitchen. You have three choices here, Leah. You can tell her to pull her head in. Oh, yeah, right. Just you put up with it or tell her to stay somewhere else. Ah, it's the two people I was hoping to see. We need to set up an office for you, Mr. Lawson. Oh, great. Um, I was thinking we could get in an informal room happening, you know. But what about the old uh, common room that I, I was showing I was thinking of something closer to my office. Uh, that would make it pretty hard for the kids to relax. I'm not interested in anybody relaxing. And I won't make any secret of the fact that I think counselling can encourage a victim mentality. But you respect that's a pretty... Resilience, self-reliance, they're the strategies children need. That's the... Sorry. Sorry. Hello? What? All right, I'm coming. Perhaps we could have those things switched off. Um, no, sorry. Look, uh, it's Haley. I've got to go. You can't just... Well, a friend of ours was in an awful accident. She's in the hospital. All the same. He seems awfully young for some of the responsibilities the job entails. You sure he's ready? I, I wouldn't have recommended him unless I had complete confidence. Hmm. Leah used to be such a happy girl. Always smiling. <laughs> now she barely talks to us. Well, she's got a lot on her plate at the moment, Helen. Is that why she allows Alexi to behave like this? Alex is a very big boy. He can make his own decisions. Still, she should be looking out for her brother. And you? Are you supporting her? Are you giving her all the help she needs? Helen, the only problem Leah has right now is you. Uh, how? How am I the problem? Oh, You're on. always complaining. You're always attacking her. <laughs> I tried very nicely to tell you to back off this morning, but you didn't want to listen. Look, Jesse, Leah's our daughter. We worry about her. And, and you think I don't? Not like us. Look, I'm, n I'm not going to sit back and let you talk to her the way you do. This is Leah's house, and I will not be spoken to in that tone of Me and Leah live here together, okay? I pay half the bills. Mm. I pay for that food that you're eating. Leah this is and our house. BJ were very yeah. happy before you came. Look, Helen, I don't really care what you think of me, okay? Leah loves you both to death, and oh. she needs your support and your approval. Now, if that's too much for you, then you can pack your bags and you can leave. That fascist is going to ruin everything Gramps ever did for the place. So what's his problem with girls wearing jeans? He wants me and Henry's box. Max, that's not going to happen. You think I want to do it? Worst thing is, we're stuck with him. It's going to be like living in the dark ages. I don't know why with Mr. Hyde. He should be Dr. Jekyll. The children are like a potion for me. They make my evil side stronger. <laughs> I am not Hyde. I am the evil Dr. Jekyll. And I ruin everybody's life. Uh, Max. What? Go on. Oh, I was just on... Getting it all wrong? You may write, Mr. Sutherland, but you clearly do not read. Who was Dr. Jekyll? He was this monster guy. Well, I suggest you review your Robert Louis Stevenson on your fifth night of detention. For the record, Jekyll was the good one. I, on the other hand, am Hyde, the bad one. And I never change back. What's happened? I got this call coming. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. I came in a visit. They're not letting anyone in to see us. Um, Dr. Saunders called me about Ellie Smith. Uh, if you take a seat, I'll find her. Please, look, just tell me if, she, if she's all right. You'll need to speak to the doctor. No, please, look, just if there's something wrong that I need to know. I'll get Dr. Saunders.